How to list products from CJ Dropshipping to Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this step-by-step -step tutorial. It's actually pretty easy. So if this video helped you out, please do let me know in the comments and let's get started. So obviously for this, you need your Shopify store and also a CJ Dropshipping account. Now I have a direct link in the description of this video that will bring you over to cjdropshipping.com. Now, if you create an account via my link, that will also help me out a lot as well. So then we can both benefit from it. So what you want to do once you've created an account here in the top right corner is go to my CJ. Once you are here, this is basically your dashboard, by the way, you want to scroll down on the left and go to store authorization. And then here you can also see Shopify right over there. Now I already have an account uh, or Shopify store connected. So it looks a little bit different for you than it does for me. But for you, it will probably say, give you like a big red uh, orange ad store button. The one like that I have over here and click on there. And then it will say this, then you want to click on authorize. Then it will bring you over to the Shopify app store. You want to open up the app and then you have to wait a couple of seconds. And then it will, you know, give you like the standard in app installation on Shopify. You have to accept it and install it. And then you have it installed and it will bring you over back to the uh, um, CJ Dropshipping homepage. And then you can actually start adding products. Now, if you would like to have your first three months of Shopify for only $1 per month, then you can actually click on the link in the description of this video. This will bring you over to this page. As you can see, start for free, then enjoy $1 per month for three months. So you can actually try Shopify for free for three days. And then after that, you can actually have that $1 per month. This will also help me out greatly. So why not? So I am going to select a random product from this website. So I'll just go to something like this product over here. Now, this is just a quick product for the sake of this tutorial. And once you are here, you want to scroll a little bit down. And you can actually see a couple of options. So here you have connect. It says click connect if the product already exists in your store to establish a product product connection for automatic order fulfillment. And then you also have list click list to add the product to your store. So you want to do this first, and I believe it will then already be connected automatically as well if it that isn't the case then you might have to list it first and then connect it later but i just believe that once you've listed it it is already connected now before you click on that though you also have a couple of shipping shipping methods so if you click on here you can see the total shipping cost that's basically where you want to look out for and also the uh the delivery time so you want to uh search for this and sometimes you have some really good like deals so for example, this one is six to 11 days. It's just a little bit um, more expensive, but it's actually like way faster than this one. So if you would like that, for example, then uh, keep that in mind that which uh, shipping method it is. Then uh, once you're happy with that, you want to click on list. And here at the top, you want to make sure that you have selected the correct store because there's also an Etsy store here for me. And then here you have a couple of options. So you have ship from, um, this is the China warehouse. Currently they don't have any other warehouses for this specific product, but some products do also have a United States warehouse. So, um, yeah. And then here you have the shipping method. If you would like to change that, then here you could do that. For example, this one over here, as you can see, I'll just leave it on the regular one here at a product type. So I also already have a couple of types, but. I'll just add a new one. You can select the collections and then also new uh, vendor. And then these are all the colors and different sizes. As you can see, there's actually a lot of them and it will uh, import all of these for you, which is great. And here you can see the total drop shipping cost. So this is it. And it actually differs depending on the sizes and colors, I believe. So here you actually have a recommended listing price and you can do that. And then it will automatically automatically list a price for you. But if you want to have a custom price, then uh, you can do that as well. I just gave all of them the same price. And if you are happy with that, you can actually click on list it now. Then it says listing in progress. You may check the listing status on listing. 
and then uh, it currently says pending right over there and once this is done uh, this obviously takes a little bit of time maybe it actually takes a lot of time since there is a lot of products in here but once it's done it says listing succeeded then you can actually go back to your shopify store go to products and there you go it is right over here and once this loads you can see the title you can see the whole the description right over here as well you can see all of the pictures and the coloring and sizing and all of that so that's basically it i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it did help you out and i'll see you next time